and inside there's items for a giveaway so stay tuned Good morning everyone from day three here on the Disney Dream. Today is our day at sea, so we have a lot planned. Right now I'm gonna head up to the top deck, get us some lounges that we can lay out on, and then the rest of the day we have fun things planned such as seeing Eternals, going back and seeing Beauty of the Beast. Tonight we have dinner at Animator's Palette. A ton of fun things to do here at your day at sea on the Disney Dream, so stay tuned for a very, very fun video today from the Disney Dream. Let's go have some fun. Not gonna lie, it's super cool, but also a little weird to wake up and you're in the middle of the ocean. I've loved coming out here every morning and just relaxing on the balcony for a little bit and overlooking the ocean. During your day at sea, if you go on the Disney Cruise Line Navigator app, it shows you everything that is going on throughout the ship from daily activities such as Disney trivia, making of the Disney dream, character photo opportunities, story time with Mrs. Claus, movies such as Cars, Shang-Chi, and Eternals will be playing on our ship today. We're going to go check out the Eternals movie, which is the brand new movie to the Marvel Cinematic Universe at 1 o'clock. Here are all the character greetings happening on the Disney Dream today, starting at 9 a.m. So just about 16 minutes ago, they started from different photo opportunities, story time with Mrs. Claus, a character is walking around and just waving. And I believe tonight, yes, tonight at 6.30, unfortunately, we're not going to that one. We'll be at the Beauty and the Beast show but the 9 o'clock character dance party on Deck 11 stage. That is going to be so much fun. This also shows you all the dining and lounges, so from Cabana's, Enchanted Garden, Royal Palace, Fillmore's Favorites, Luigi's Pizza, Royal Palace again, Tomater's Grill, Animator's Palette, all the different types of places to eat, relax, and a drink here on the Disney Dream. The app also gives you the hours for Senses Fitness Center, as well as Fitness, Spa, and Salon. The Disney Cruise Line app has been a huge help to us while we've been here on the Disney Dream, from showing all of our itinerary to different shows we want to go to, giving us suggestions on things to do, showing us all the port adventures, onboard fun, spa, and fitness center. Also, it has this, uh, for anyone 21 and over, it shows you the, uh, the drink of the day, which I think is pretty cool. It changes. Yesterday it was some Christmas drink, and now it is the Stingray. Um, so might have to go get that one today. But yes, the Disney Cruise Line app is a huge help to find anything and everything on the Disney cruise ships. So definitely make sure you have this downloaded before you go on your cruise ship. The nice thing about being up early is not a lot of people else are up on the ship. So you kind of have the whole ship to yourself in a way. It's really nice. You get to walk around, just enjoy everything. Try to wake up early on your next cruise. As I was walking up here, I totally forgot that today we get to ride the aqueduct, which is the huge slide that goes around the top of the Disney Dream. It looks like it's gonna be so much fun and I seriously can't wait to ride it. We are now heading into Royal Palace to have breakfast here on the Disney Dream. Our breakfast has arrived and Emily and I both got the French toast with bacon. Let me tell you all, this is one of the best looking French toasts I have ever seen. Wow, this food looks amazing. I can't wait to dive in. Okay, first of all, the Royal Palace breakfast was amazing. The French toast was so good. Highly recommend going there for breakfast at least once while you're here on the Disney Dream. Now, before we head out to the pool and do some of the fun stuff outside, I'm gonna kinda take a walk around the inside of the ship see all the fun things to do inside such as like the different clubs the different theaters all the different things you can do inside the disney dream when you have your day at sea so here on the fifth floor it looks like there is this midship detective agency it looks like a little game you can play around the ship pretty cool all you do is get your little card right here your little pencil and i believe you grab one of these things as well but it's cool there's a little game that you can play around the ship here on the fifth floor is it's a small world nursery now the venue is currently closed but let's keep on walking down because i believe this is where all the fun and kid activities are just down the way from it's a small world nursery is the disney oceaner club this is the kids club here on the disney dream looks like they have all different types of room and it looks like there's a toy story room i can't tell what that is right before the screen there was a star wars room look like the millennium falcon super cool and i wish i was a kid that i can go in and go inside and have some fun and then down the hall from the oceaneers club is the Oceaneer Lab. I think this is for the teenagers, older kids here on the Disney Dream. It did not show any hours of operation for the Oceaneer Lab, so I'm unsure if it is open yet here on the Disney Dream, but the Oceaneer's Club for the younger kids down the hall is open. And look everyone, as we were touring the ship, Santa Claus has come to join us. Looks like everyone is also down there lining up to meet some characters that will be coming out in just a little bit. There are tons of character meet and greets here on the Disney Dream. Okay, everyone, there's this cool little like boating activity that you can control the Jolly Roger. 
from here in this little picture. Look how cool that is. I'm just spinning it around. Oh gosh, about to crash, about to crash, about to crash. Okay, that's super cool. We are currently here in our lounges, relaxing, having some drinks. I got a banana karib from the pool bar here on the adult only deck. Obviously, you guys can tell I have uh, drinking all of it. We also got lunch from Flo's V8 Cafe. I got a cheeseburger and it was absolutely delicious. That is one of the places you can have lunch here on the Disney Dream. Closed V8 Cafe. You can also go to Cabana's as well and have the buffet lunch. And we thought might as well have lunch and relax on our lounges with this amazing view of the ocean. Today has been so relaxing. After relaxing on the lounges for a little bit, it is time to go ride the aqueduct. Now, unfortunately, I wasn't allowed to film on the aqueduct, but guys, it was so much fun, and this is a must-do when you're coming on the Disney Dream. One of the most fun water slides that I've ever been on. It is so cool when you're on the aqueduct that overlooks the ocean, as well as the top deck here on the Disney Dream. You have some amazing views, and like I said, it's definitely a must-do. So after our great morning at breakfast and at the pool, we are now back here in the room getting ready because it got a little chilly. The sun is now gone. It's like 71 degrees, which for the Bahamas is like really cold. We're getting ready because in about 45 minutes, Eternals shows at the Walt Disney Theater. We're going to go watch that. I have already seen it. I saw it on opening night. I actually saw it at midnight on Thursday, turning into Friday. Um, Emily has not yet seen it yet, so we're going to head to the Walt Disney Theater right now and go watch Eternals. I can't wait. And no lie, I was not expecting them to have Eternals on this ship as it did just come out Friday, November 5th. So it's insane that they have that movie on this ship and we can watch it. I was thinking they were just going to have Shang-Chi and then maybe another Disney movie such as Jungle Cruise, which they are playing. But nope, they have Eternals. So I'm so excited to go see that. Uh, we're going to go see Eternals. Then after that, we have like a two-hour break in between that and Beauty and the Beast. It's going to be a fun night here on the Disney Dream and our day at sea. And we're having an amazing day so far. I'm just really sad that it is our last day. Um, yeah. I don't know. I, I've been loving this Disney cruise, and I honestly can't wait to go on another one. Um, I think you know, I have my computer here. Good thing I don't have Wi-Fi, because I would already be trying to book our next cruise. So after two and a half hours, we have gotten out of Eternals, and we're making our way into the gift shop, because we're going to buy some last-second merchandise before we leave the Disney Dream. So I think I'm finally going to pick up this Shape Up or Ship Out Disney Cruise Line Donald Duck shirt. I just love the back of the shirt, and, you know... I had to get it before we leave. The bag has been secured for our last bit of merchandise here on the Disney Dream. Look at the cool little reusable bag that they give you, or actually you, should, you can purchase, not give you, my bad. And inside, there's items for a giveaway, so stay tuned. So we made our way to the top deck as we were gonna get some snacks over at Flo's V8 Cafe, and it looks like no one is out here. It is literally freezing cold out here, everyone. Like, no one, I'm surprised. No one is even in the hot tub over there. They're currently playing Finding Dory on the big screen. Uh, we will be out here later tonight bundled up for the character stage show, a character dance party on the stage. But wow, guys, it is freezing out here. And look, our final sunset on our final day here on the Disney Dream. It has been so much fun. After eating at Flo's V8 Cafe, we are now back at the room. I changed into my new uh, Disney Cruise Line Donald Duck t-shirt. And I did mention a little giveaway, as y'all can see, Emily uh, poured herself a drink, as uh, you guys can see in the background. But I did say something about a giveaway, so I'm about to show you those items for the giveaway right now. First up, we have this awesome Disney Cruise Line t-shirt. This looks so cool. It says Disney Cruise Line, like this really, really cool font. It has the Disney Cruise Line logo. That is going to be one of the items for the giveaway. So the other day, I got a Disney Cruise Line Wishable, and I got myself Donald. It was one of the mystery packs, so I'm so excited that I got Donald, because you all know he's my favorite. So I decided to get you all one as well, a mystery pack Disney Parks Disney Cruise Line Edition Wishables. This is so cool. You can get either Pluto, Donald, Goofy, or Daisy. Now, this is a mystery, so if you do win, you have to let me know who you get. And the last thing on the giveaway is going to be this Disney Cruise Line reusable bag. On the front here is the Disney Cruise Line logo, and then on the back is the really cool design, the logo inside the ship's wheel, Captain Minnie, Captain Mickey, and the Disney Cruise Ship right there. These are the three items you can get for my Disney Cruise Line giveaway. I'm doing this giveaway to thank you guys because I wouldn't be able to go on this amazing, awesome trip without each and every single one of you. You guys constantly show me love and support on all my videos, so I want to do a huge thank you by getting you guys some awesome Disney Cruise Line merchandise. If you guys want to enter to win this giveaway, the giveaway is now live on my Instagram. Because you all are so awesome, I'm going to give you an exclusive extra entry 
for this giveaway by just watching this video and answering this simple question in the comments down below. The question for the extra entry for the Disney Cruise Line giveaway is, how many times did Emily and I see the Beauty and the Beast Broadway show here on the Disney Dream? That's all you gotta do, answer it down below in the comments. If you answer it correctly, I'll give you an extra entry into the giveaway, or if you don't have Instagram, that will be your entry into the giveaway. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much. It's an awesome giveaway. I, I hope one of you wins it. I know someone's gonna win it, but I hope one of you wins it. I hope you guys love the giveaway, but we still have so much more to do tonight. We're going to, hint, another Beauty and the Beast show, and then after that, we're going to Animator's Palette for dinner, and then after that, we have the character party, character dance party, whatever you wanna call it up on deck 11 that's so exciting that will end our cruise and then tomorrow unfortunately is our last morning because you know we leave the cruise tomorrow morning we'll have breakfast and then we'll pack up and we'll leave and that's it but it's been an amazing cruise so far but uh let's get ready and head to the beauty and the beast show well we just got back from the beauty and the beast show and let me say i think i liked it even more the second time around we sat up in the upper deck, which you had a much better view of the whole show. The first night, if you guys remember, we sat on the first level, about the third row, so we were really close. But it was cool to see the two different types of views you can have for the Beauty and the Beast show. I do suggest seeing it multiple times. That way you can get two different view angles. We sat at the bottom, then sat at the top. Like I said, I think the top is the best view. You can see the whole stage, everything going around, and it is a fantastic show. 10 out of 10, recommend you go seeing Beauty and the Beast here on the Disney Dream. Now it is time to head to Animator's Palette and go have a delicious dinner. And when we got back, we got our final towel animal on our final night. Looks like a little wolf. We have our Dove chocolates. He added my glasses to it. Our room assistant has been amazing this entire trip. I'm really amazed how they do these things. Like I think I could never like you know make a towel animal. Very impressed. I'm very impressed. Okay, I'm gonna, I told them that I enjoyed the upper deck better viewing for the Beauty and the Beast. Which one did you enjoy more? upper deck because you can see more that's what i said you can mm -hmm. see a lot more i i think i enjoyed the show more the second time around than... i did too because you could like see all the small details you didn't see the first time yeah huh? yeah so i will say this tonight it has been extremely rocky here on the disney dream we're hitting some pretty bad waters um it's like ooh, 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 it's pretty you'd say it's, it's pretty rocky in. yeah i have my motion sickness bands on yeah my so... motion sickness bands on yeah everything's creaking moving it's it's definitely gonna be a bumpy night, but uh, hopefully we can. Uh, hopefully it's not too bad at dinner. But we're at the front of the ship at dinner, animators palette. So who knows? Crossing our fingers, but uh, let's head to dinner. At the Beauty and the Beast show, Emily and I both got these holiday exclusive Disney Parks like souvenir mug. Really cool. I think they had these in the park last year, but it was cool they offered these on the cruise ship. And we said, you know what? It's a Christmas cruise, and we had to get it. It was only fourteen dollars. Not too bad. So we still have about 30 minutes until dinner starts. So Emily and I came up to the 11th deck where actually no one is right now. We're like one of the only two people here um, and we are enjoying some hot chocolate because it is freezing out here and rainy and wet. Oh, that's really hot. Ooh. They call it hot chocolate for a reason. Ooh. So Animator's Palette is actually in the back of the ship. So I, earlier I said it was in the front of the ship. It's actually in the back of the ship. Emily told that me. Was my fault. Yeah, Emily <laughs> told me that information. So now we're going to see how rocky the boat is in the back of the ship. But right now as we're walking there, it's... Ooh, it's gonna be a rough night <laughs> and here we are inside animators palette everyone this place looks so cool oh my gosh and everyone our table is right next to the tv screen crush is gonna come up and talk to us later this is gonna be so cool if you all have kids definitely come to the disney dream and obviously you'll eat at animators palette this place is awesome and if you all notice look how cool the chairs are it's like little mickeys so cool and everyone look how cool the little butter knives are it looks like a little painter's brush how cool, I'm already loving Animator's Palette. So one of the many cool things here about Animator's Palette is they play all different types of Pixar music while you are sitting here and dining. Another cool thing, look, it's a giant paintbrush right there. Amazing, I love the details in here and pretty soon, Crush is gonna come on this big screen and talk to us. So maybe he'll ask us some questions, maybe not, I guess we'll see. So for our appetizers, Emily is gonna get the black truffle pasta. And for me, I believe I'm gonna make it three out of three nights at getting soup. I'm gonna get the baked potato and cheddar cheese soup. So Emily, how was your appetizer? It was so good. Really good. Like, I, amazing. Yeah, I had a bite of it myself and it was really, really good. The uh, baked potato, cheddar, bacon soup was amazing. Now I will say it was the least favorite out of the three that I've had. It goes French onion from last night, then tomato soup, and then the... Ooh, hold on before I start talking. It looks like Crush is coming to give us a visit. Boy, kiss, whoa, dude! Check out the backspins, dude! Hello, 
human dudes. Check it out. It's like a big human tank. Sweet. Yo, mini dudes, go hide. Human dudes, try and find Nemo. Oh, gosh, I'm not really comfortable with this. Why not? I don't know anything about talking to humans. Oh, I can speak human. Hello, human. Oh, Dory. And then for dinner, Emily and I both got the penne bolognese. I think it's going to be a pasta night here at Animator's Palette. And just like that, our penne pasta has arrived. It looks delicious. We got some, looks like garlic bread on the top. It smells amazing. Emily and I, like I said, both got the same thing. Animator's Palette has been amazing so far. We're still waiting for Crush to come along and say hi to us. All right, Emily, how did you like your pasta? It was so good. Like amazing. It's my what? favorite. Meal so far? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. oh. Favorite meal and atmosphere. Oh, for Animator's Palette? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do love the atmosphere here. I'm, I'm not going to say, I don't know if, I'm not going to say it's my favorite. It's delicious though. Delicious pasta. I think my favorite was Enchanted Garden. I think it was so good. The filet or whatever I got there, but it was so good. But this is really, really good pasta and, and uh, it's been a great atmosphere so far. Once again, Crush is making his rounds. We're still waiting for him to come say hello to us. Um, he hasn't come yet, but uh, we're still enjoying dinner. And for dessert, I got the cookies and cream sundae. This thing looks amazing. And like the first night, a little chocolate Mickey at the top. And Emily got the chocolate cheesecake. It looks amazing as well. And this cookies and cream sundae was amazing. Cookies and cream is one of my favorite flavors of ice cream. So obviously this is gonna be a 10 out of 10 for me. Emily, how was your cheesecake? It was good. It's not my favorite, but it's good. What was your favorite night? Really? The first night. So, uh, Enchanting Garden. Yeah, chocolate tart type deal. Kind of forgot exactly what it was, but it was chocolate something. Which has been your overall favorite restaurant? This one. This one. Just because atmosphere and everything. Yeah, the atmosphere here is awesome. We have yet to see Crush, but the ship is getting really, really, really like, you know, ooh, wow, it just moved really bad. But uh, so we might dip out and uh, yeah, but it's been an amazing experience. Other than the ship being rocky, Animator's Palette has been amazing. Okay, so the ship is really, really rocky tonight, but Animator's Palette was amazing. Just, I'm like, I'm not like, I'm walking straight, I promise you. Like, we haven't been drinking, and I feel like I had like probably about 20 drinks tonight. The ship is just rocky. Like, as you can see, I'm literally just swaying back and forth. The ship is so rocky, but uh, we're gonna go find something to do. Um, hopefully the Christmas tree, no one's by the Christmas tree, and uh, we can get some cool pictures there. But uh, yeah, let's have a great last final night here on the Disney Dream. So everyone, because it's so rocky outside and the weather is terrible, they moved the dance party inside. You have Donald, Chip, Dale, Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, and Pluto up there. This dance party is awesome. We were not expecting this at all. This is so much fun. Goofy and Pluto are killing it up there. And then you have Chip, Dale, and Donald. And up there, Mickey and Minnie. Well, everyone, that is going to be it from day three, our day at sea here on the Disney Dream. And as well, that is going to be it from our time here on the Disney Dream. Since tomorrow morning, we'll be packing up and heading off of the ship. It has been an amazing time. It is only 10 o'clock at night, but Emily and I are calling it early night because the boat is so rocky tonight. It's moving left and right and left and right and left and right. So I think uh, we're going to lay down, watch a movie, and call it quits for the night. Um, but it's been an amazing, an amazing, an amazing time. Dinner at Animator's Palette was amazing. Tomorrow we'll go there for breakfast, but I think tomorrow we're just going to relax and do our own thing in the morning. I won't video much. And then later on, I will do a whole review on my time here on the Disney Dream. My favorite things, my not-so-favorite things, suggestions that I give to you guys if you're going to book a Disney cruise in the near future. But like I said, that is going to be it from the Disney Dream. We had an amazing vacation, so much fun. And I'm already looking forward to our next cruise. Um, once again, if you guys enjoyed today's video, give it a big, big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new here. And make sure to ring that bell to get notified whenever I post a video. Peace out from the Disney Dream. It's been a blast. Thank <laughs> you.